If it's in Hampton Roads, it's on the Hampton Roads Show. Welcome to the Hampton Roads Show. Our live audience today is from the Murfreesboro Historical Association. Coming up a little later, we'll get the details on their 26th annual candlelight Christmas tour that will bring you and your family home for the holidays the old-fashioned way. Oh, I love the cute little town of Murfreesboro. We're in the kitchen today with Chef Kyle Kelly. He's back from Norfolk Chop House with Will Phillips. They're going to make a tasty item from their new menu, pan-seared scallops with goat cheese risotto. Sauteed carrot cut and burks topped with Thai chili sauce. And it is contest week on the Hampton Road Show all week long. We're going to be giving away some really awesome prizes. I know, and the presentation is always fun. Thank right? you, Stephanie, Stephanie Cook. Cook. It does. You just have that. to present it like that. Like a like big present fettuccine. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the, the, like the, the meatballs. Gifted yeah. chini. <laughs> Gifted chini. I'm rolling. I got you, Carrie. Giving it all out today. Not only some are we going to have a prizes. great meal, we're also going to give you some good information and prizes. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All Absolutely. week long? All week long. So some folks probably were taking home gifts and goodies from MacArthur Center Mall. You guys were at Shop from the That's Heart last yeah, night. Yeah, we were out there. It was really nice. There was a good crowd out there. I thought it was a great crowd. And a lot they of had friendly the, people uh, as well. The raffle tickets that people could draw, and we got to call the names out of the prizes that they were giving away. And people were just lined up against the wall, waiting on their number, their name yeah. to be called. Yeah, right? and only like one or two people were actually standing <laughs> like, there. Like, <laughs> so it was like, please, let's pull someone's name. So. Yeah, that's good. But, uh, but it was for a great cause, and the stores were open, and we, you know, gave away. Uh, some autograph cards and mm -hmm. also we're signing people up for next Saturday to MacArthur on Ice to go ice skating. Oh, so. right. That's right. And They're proceeds go to CHKD. So once again, a great, mm -hmm. great benefit. Great cause. How yeah. about you? Are you uh, stretching and feeling um, you good? Know, I don't feel too, I don't feel too badly. Yeah. I still feel a little bit spent because I was doing some fundraising <gasps> of a different kind yesterday mm -hmm. morning mm -hmm. with the first uh, Norfolk Freedom Half Marathon. It was a big success for the city of Norfolk. You sometimes a first, first event, first mm -hmm. race. You know, there's some kinks to work out, but man, it was great, great weather, great course, and <laughs> look at that. Everybody who finished, wow, that look at is that. a serious medal. I felt a little bit like Flava Flav when I put this on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. So, um, big thanks to the Norfolk Police Department and all the volunteers, yeah. and oh, it was hey. just really good. And that mm -hmm. went to Wounded Warrior Project in the Office to End Homelessness in Norfolk. So it was good. It was a PR. huge undertaking. Whenever, anytime you throw a race like that, yep. yeah, big it's event. Good. All right. Um, also, we're asking you this morning about how you're going to survive these holidays financially. It just yeah. the holiday mm -hmm. season just kind of brings up all kinds of stuff when it comes to spending and trying to set limits, and wanting to do what other folks do, and wanting to keep your financial business private. You know, mm -hmm. we talked about some of the awkwardness sometimes of saying, "Hey, we're not going to participate in the grab this year." Yeah. You know, just mm -hmm. staying real about what you can spend. It's all about making a budget. Mm -hmm. Looking at the bottom line and what are you going to spend and what you're not. And we want to know if you're budgeting for the holidays and how do you handle the holidays and, yeah. and what do you spend and what do you not spend and how do you handle it. I do you trim thing. the budget or trim the list? Sorry, you did uh, not make the cut. Probably a little of both. <laughs> no, layaway is making a comeback. Yeah. I mean, a lot mm -hmm. of people are going layaway now. My thing is, is every time around this, this same time of the year, I always say, I'm going to shop early. After you get the presents, I'm going to shop for next year. It never happens. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just one of those. You don't necessarily always have to give a gift. I think a lot of people feel like you have to physically give something to someone. But there's other ways that you can just, you know, That's true. make someone's holiday a cheerful one. And write yeah. a card or something handmade. I don't do the shop early thing because I refuse to start until after Thanksgiving. Like, I just don't yeah. like to see Thanksgiving get run over, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. But you that means, like, I'm that. running around like They're a crazy person Christmas at the last minute. Oh, yeah, you know, and which was kind of neat. But I'll tell you what, if you're lucky, you know, you're going to be one of the people that win this week. So you win That's something right. and then That's maybe give true. that for re gift a, a Hampton Roadshow gift. Absolutely, if it's that. Oh, I mean, yes. we've got some great stuff here. We, I don't know if they're going to want to get ask. these. They're going to want to keep them to themselves. All right. Let us know your thoughts. You can join the conversation on our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter at HR underscore show. And, uh... Here's the best part of the show right here, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Jeremy Wheeler, whenever he shows up, man. I mean, Things just 78, happen. 76. What is that about? Man? Now I need to go dig warm, out my summer clothes. Warm today, I know. And yesterday wasn't too bad either. It was 71 the yesterday. The weekend was so beautiful, especially mm -hmm. the moon. I mean, full moon over yeah, the weekend. That was right. awesome. Moon, the, you know, the leaves are changing color. So, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's really great. So, you know, we had that big cool down a little while ago. People thought that that was going to be it. We weren't going to be seeing any more warm no. temperatures. I thought, no, nah, it's a little too early to Not get the, the permanent cool down. So here we are. Now we're seeing some, you know, 70s oh. for highs. Wouldn't be surprised next uh, couple of days if we see a couple of 80s out there. Wow. You know, Most of probably some inland sections, but I mean, it's going to be that warm. So, I asked yeah. you once before, are we into the Indian summer? 
No, in, no. Uh, matter of fact, this would be uh, Indian summer because we had the frost. I think you get that first frost. So now this is this is the Indian summertime okay. showing up. This is mm. it. So uh, yeah. And, uh, I was warned that it would get warm come. close when I thought it would stay cool. Yeah. So. We're going to cool down coming in later this week. We'll cool things down for those Alaskans out there. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what we got. Uh, 58 <laughs> degrees for Thursday. There you go. But the next couple of days in the 70s. Our next chance rain comes in Tuesday night, definitely Wednesday. Some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. And then uh, we dry it out for the weekend. Next weekend, still looking good. Highs in the 60s again. All right, so let's take a look for today. The uh, pop quiz. Got some good prizes coming, so pay attention. Here it is. Blank Burnett Show. Should be a giveaway right there. 2,000 pounds, two R's, two L's, and a small Virginia city, relatively speaking. Go ahead to the HamptonRoadShow.com. Submit your answer, and you're going to win one of these fabulous prizes. All right. A lot of for grabs this week. You can take your group to Bush Gardens Christmas Town with a 10 pack of tickets or relax with a gift certificate from a half day spa package from ARE Health Center and Spa. Two round trip airline tickets are to Orlando, Florida on Allegiant Air, now flying from Newport News, Williamsburg International Airport. Gift certificates for downtown Norfolk businesses during holidays in the city. Dine, shop, and reserve seats for Norfolk's Grand Illumination Parade. Four tickets to see Cirque du Soleil Kadam wow. at Hampton Coliseum on opening night. And and get this, everyone who enters our pop quiz trivia all week long will automatically be entered to win the contest week grand prize, which is... Amy Grant and Vince Gills, 12 <laughs> Days of Christmas Concert, December 8th at the Ted Constance Center. Who needs to go shopping for Christmas when you can win all that here and on the Hampton Road Show? You can greet with them. How cool is wow. that? Yeah, that is, that's big time. That's a, I mentioned good prizes. Yeah. There you go. Yes. All Primo. All right. <laughs> that show at the Constant Center, make it dinner in a show. Visit the guys from Norfolk Chop House before you head off to the concert, whatever you're going to do this season. Kyle Kelly is back along with Will Phillips to make a delicious dish that I think is perfect for uh, muscle recovery. <laughs> absolutely, yes. <laughs> it's like you were thinking of being appreciated. Absolutely. Today we're going to uh, be making um, some blackened pan seared scallops with a goat cheese risotto. We're going to top it off with a uh, uh, Thai chili sauce and some roasted red pepper puree. It's going to be a good dish and, yeah, muscle recovery heard. It's definitely good for that. All right. You guys had a nice write-up in the paper this weekend. Yeah, we did. Absolutely. Really huge article in the uh, in the paper, so congratulations. We're going to find you. out why the word is getting out about Norfolk Chop House when we come back to the kitchen in just a couple of minutes. All right. All right, today's the big day, the big ACDC in NYC interview uh -huh. that we've been talking about all week long. And, of course, we're talking about David Culver's one-on-one behind-the-scenes chat with Anderson Cooper himself on the set of his daytime talk show that is coming up a little later. But first... When this cools, this red will look much more vibrant. Kind of Our face of Fox, Tracy Page, learns a lot about the centuries-old craft of glass-making. Stick around to see what happens on this week's Tracy Tries It. All right, time to get started now in the Hampton Roadshow Kitchen. Chef Kyle Kelly is back with sous chef Will Phillips from the Norfolk Chop House. They're going to make a pan-seared scallop dish today, the goat cheese risotto, a couple other things you have going on. Absolutely. Um, we're going to start, obviously, uh, the risotto is going to take the longest to cook, so I'm going to go ahead and let yeah. Will get, jump on that and tell you guys what he's going to do with that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to sweat in some shallots and uh, add a little bit of thyme, mm -hmm. butter, bay leaf. And add and your those, risotto and you toast it. The bay leaf, you know, you don't want to crumble up or anything because you want to be able to find that later. Yeah, you can not get it. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You definitely don't want to lose that in there. Okay. I'll serve that to a customer. So he's going to just basically saute that for a minute and, uh, you know, let, release all the, the aromatics in it. Um, after he does that, he's going to slowly but surely add his chicken stock. You can probably want to do about a cup at a time or maybe a half cup depending on how much you're making. Yeah. Um, and risotto is one of those things that absorbs rice, so you, you, it's, it's kind of a low and slow process. You don't want to you want to rush risotto, absolutely not. Okay. Um, but the scallops cook so fast, yeah. so timing is kind of key with this dish. Scallops you're going to serve it both together. Oh yeah, yeah. Scallops pretty quick, so we're just going to let me get, make sure our pan's really nice and hot this time. Okay. Um, and while while we're working on that, we got our roasted red pepper puree. We went ahead and roasted off some peppers, peeled them, and then uh, pureed them. We're going to go ahead and get that hot because that's going to be the base for our, our dish. Okay. Um, and we'll add some cream and some parmesan to it. So it'll be, you know, it's, this is one of those good fall winter dishes. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much sticks to your ribs. So, and it, 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 it's pretty delicious. So. Scouts um, are gigantic. Yeah. These are, these are definitely U10s, dry packs, um, which means they're, you know, under 10 to a, a pound. So you're looking at one, two ounce scallops. Um, you know, if you, if you go out to eat, you definitely want something nice. You know, you yeah. want something that you probably couldn't do at home. So right. we make sure that we can, uh, you know, accommodate Deliver. for everyone. Absolutely, absolutely. So while Will's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and um, add some cream to this, which I'll grab. We'll add some cream to that, get that uh, puree hot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, he's just going to start adding his uh, 
chicken stock to it. Okay. Now that risotto is probably going to take about 30 to 45 minutes, um, right. depending on how much you do. Um, but it's definitely go ahead, well, worth it. Yeah, I think so. And it's going to be a goat cheese risotto. Yeah, yeah. We're going we're to finish it off with Parmesan, a little bit of heavy cream with some goat cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it's kind of a stick to your ribs kind of dish. So. Mm -hmm. So the article was great. How's things going at the restaurant? Um, pretty good. The uh, Saturday we had the uh, Virginia Opera House come in. Um, it's, a, it's a club they all, you know, go out to eat before they go to the opera. And uh, yeah. that was uh, pretty intense. You know, you do about 70 covers at a time. And it's putting out a lot of plates. So I, I think I think we definitely delivered on that one as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, pretty much booked out for the uh, Christmas season. You know, obviously we, we can always make room for a couple more people. But we've got a lot of corporate parties coming up. And, you know, restaurants That's don't fantastic. do yeah, restaurants are doing pretty new. good. Absolutely. Are you six months old yet? Nope, not even six months. We're about wow. about, about five months old. Babies. So, yeah, we're doing all right though. Good for you guys. So we'll definitely take that. Um, and you know, as 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 Will keeps cooking that, you know, you'll see you'll see when the arborio rice actually stops uh, taking the moisture and liquid and whatnot. Yeah. So it's it's like I said, about half cup at a time, about 30, 45 minutes. Um, keep that going. How do you know, Will? Was it? I mean, what's going to? You just let it reduce down until it's almost dry, and you just keep reconstituting it with the uh, yeah. chicken stock. But then, then how do you know when to stop? You said, when you it's not going to absorb any more. Taste it until it's not yeah. crunchy. Yeah. Much. Okay. You, you want to cook it to bad al dente because normally we finish off in those sauté pans. You know, and it gets a, like a little time. pasty, doesn't it? In yeah. a good yeah. way. Yeah. It's, 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 it's definitely got a lot of uh, starch in it. So. Okay. All right. I'll, we'll just keep keep heating this up and whatnot, and we'll just keep doing right. that. You don't want to do the scallops yet. No, no, absolutely um, not. What would you advise people though about if they want to make this dish and they want to buy some scallops for it? What, what are the magic words they should say when they're at the seafood counter or the seafood market? U10 dry packs, or, or you know, you definitely want something. It's a decent sized scallop because you know a lot of people at home have a tendency to overcook scallops. Yeah. Um, you just really want to sear them. So if you get a big scallop, it's kind of hard to mess that up. You just you know you sear it right, make sure your pan's nice and hot. And okay. You won't you accidentally just, cook it right. Yeah. You won't cook it right through. You, just, and, you know, it's, you want to cook your scallops about medium. Well, that's what I do. I mean, I don't cook them all the way through personally. Yeah. So. But that's very gracious of you because I know you could have said I'm not telling them <laughs> how to do this at home. They just need to come into the restaurant. Right well, we are going to put the ingredients and the how-to at thehamptonroadshow.com later on today if you want to give it a whirl. Uh, but when we come back in the kitchen, we'll let these guys finish it up and we'll remind you again where you can find the Norfolk Chop House. Thanks very much for coming right. back to show us this uh, recipe. So patience is the virtue here. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And tell folks again what was in here. You said it was it's white wine. Like the shallots, right? Shallots, yes. Uh, salt and pepper, thyme. Mm -hmm. Add a lemon, garlic, lemon, bay leaves. Wow, yeah. I thought you were going to squeeze that. I just dropped it in. Drop, drop it straight in. Okay. Reconstitute we'll a little more. We'll fish that out. We'll fish <laughs> yeah. that out too before we serve it up on a plate. All right, guys, we're going to come back in just a little bit right now. Let's see who Rick is ready to talk to. Thank you, Carrie. According to the National Fatherhood Initiative, children living in homes without fathers are twice as likely to drop out of school, and the father factor has an effect on nearly every social issue from crime to drug abuse to obesity. And joining us now with more on how dads can really make a difference is Gary Campbell, a team leader with Hampton Healthy Family Partnership. Gary, um, there's a lot of issues there without having fathers around. Is it a problem for our society? Uh, yes, Chris, it, it is a problem. Um, it, it's, it's hard to say if, if, if the problem is actually increasing or if, if we just have a, a, a deeper social awareness to the fact that fathers aren't being involved with their kids. And we know that uh, it's important. How can fathers' involvement benefit children? I mean, and there's so many different ways it can help sure. them. Just give me a few of the top sure. ways. Well. Uh, there's a lot of research that came out recently indicating that um, that when fathers are involved, uh, kids actually perform better ac across the board in, in school, for an example. Um, if you take the, uh, the age population of, of zero to three, uh, kids have higher IQs in that, that age range uh, when fathers are involved. Um, kids tend to, to do better on math scores. Mm -hmm. uh, they do better on... Um, pretty much all the academic scores uh, that, that they face. Um, so it's, it's, it's a real improvement uh, in, in their behaviors in, in the school setting. So if, if a child doesn't have that father figure, is it just because they'll try to get away with anything they can? I mean, why, why is it the father figure's not there and the child can't adjust? You know, I'm not sure we could really answer that, mm -hmm. but, but what, what we can say is uh, having that additional person to love that child, to nurture that child, uh, means, means a lot. And, um, and we're not sure if, if, if the father is, is, is making the difference in that, but we do know his presence 
um, makes a difference in, in that child's performance in school. How can more fathers be involved? Is it just involvement alone? I mean, I think that's probably the key. Yeah, yeah, that is the key. That is the key. Mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, it starts with the, the parent's expect the mother's expectations. Uh, when, when the mother expects um, the father to be involved, there's a greater likelihood of his involvement. Um, it, and if, uh, if she doesn't expect him to be involved, there's a, a chance that he can be boundaried out of, of that relationship. Um, so her expectations are key. Um, but from a social perspective, um, you know, we have a responsibility as, as social agencies to, right. to involve the, the father. And um, we, uh, it's, a, it's an awareness piece for us. We have to, to go into the family setting and, and see that dad's important and, and pull him in to the services that we render to the family. A father's involvement is so crucial across the board, and we all, we all understand that. For more information, you can uh, contact the Healthy Families Partnership on the website, hampton.gov backslash healthy families, or give them a call at 727-1300. Gary Campbell, great information, and the, you know, the whole key is involvement from the father. Thanks yes, for joining sir. us. Thank you, sir. All right, welcome back in the Buzz Center, talking about what you're talking about, our hot topics this morning. Mm -hmm. Well, just kind of, hey, how was your weekend? Yeah. We were at Shot from the Heart at MacArthur Mall, which was a really successful event last mm -hmm. night, and you did the Freedom Half Marathon in Norfolk. Yeah. I also visited Norfolk Collegiate School. They had say, a great yeah, program with their middle school girls. It was really good. I think mm -hmm. they were very surprised, because it was about the media and their image mm -hmm. and stuff, and so I went with, like, no makeup on, just so they could see what the was difference. Their reaction when you did that? They were like, oh, my God. No, they weren't. They were very understanding, but they were surprised. You know, I nice. think it kind of made the point. Oh, yes. You didn't talk I about Friday Night Flights. How could I forget this? Friday Night Flights, it was my first time in the chopper. We went to go visit Oscar Smith and Grassfield, the Grizzly Rumble. Of course, that's Joshua Cook, Stephanie, Stephanie's son. He let me play his bass drum. I was pretty good. So, And one of the band directors told me that, hey, if this TV thing doesn't work out, <laughs> You're in. I might be a drum major. Good so, And the you. cool thing at Grassfield, it was senior night, so at the end of the performance, all of the seniors took off their shoes and walked off the field with their white socks. Okay. It's like 25 of them. It's just a tradition that they've been doing. It's pretty awesome. So That's good. Thank you, John Massey and Walter, for uh, making that such a fun event. But really quick, uh, Robbie Hickman, she says she was at MacArthur also. She says it was a great turnout. Love that event. And she was taking pictures, too. She walked up to the table. So she loves the Hampton Road Show. So we want to say thank you, Robbie. We love her. To her. Ben says, hung out with the best girlfriend ever. Aww. <laughs> cool points on that one, Ben. Yeah. Uh, Denise Whitley says she ordered Christmas cards. Oh, good. All right. Uh, the next time we come back to the buzz, we'll talk a little bit more about your holiday spending plan right now. We've got to go. That's right. Still ahead on the Hampton Road Show, there are a lot of broken hearts in Hollywood after the stereo hogs were eliminated from X Factor, but they're not letting that slow them down a bit. We're talking with the high energy quintet about what's next for them straight ahead. I guess when I ask the Oprah question, what I'm really asking is, are you going to give away cars? Am I going to give away cars? <laughs> Our David Culver got to the answer to that question and a whole lot more in his one-on-one -on -one interview with Anderson Cooper. We're going to talk to them about his big day in New York City straight ahead. And don't forget about our pop quiz. You could win one of our fabulous contest week prizes. And by entering, you are registered for the grand prize. A pair of front row seats and meet and greet passes to see Amy Grant and Vince Gill's 12 Days of Christmas concert December 8th at the Ted Constant Center. Just log on to the HamptonRoadShow.com. Click on that pop quiz button on the top right-hand corner of the screen. Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. Do you remember the childhood excitement that Christmas evoked? This year, as you come home for the holidays in Murfreesboro, you will experience that same enthusiasm you felt as a child at the 26th annual Candlelight Christmas in historic Murfreesboro. Here to tell us more about that is Sandra Fowler from the Murfreesboro Historical Association. All right, Sandra. Uh, let's talk about Christmas in Murfreesboro and how special this is. It really is special. We have 12 sites for you to visit. We have wonderful food. We have beautiful decorations. We have two new homes that have never been, private homes that have never been on the tour before. One of them has not been um, offered on tour for 150 years. No one has been in that house. It has not been open. Um, we're really excited about it. We're going to the president's um, home, um, Chowan University. Uh -huh. um, lots of food, wonderful food, um, festive, beautiful lights music lots of music mm -hmm. and it's all live 
All live. All live. And Christmas carolers, it's, it's just wonderful. You've been doing this for, what, 25 20, years? 26 years. 26 years uh -huh. now. Just uh, talk about, in years past, how it's grown and how special it becomes every year. Because it I does know become it really special. Yes, yeah, some people come back every year. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of reasons. I mean, it's beautiful on the river. It is. It's beautiful and it's wonderful for us because we have lots of volunteers and the same people volunteer every year. And, and you say you get to... They get excited too. You get to, to, to tour some homes that most people have never been able to see. Right. I know that's very special. Mm -hmm. We have different homes each year, and private that, homes. And how, how much time does it prep to get ready for that? Because I know it's a under, big undertaking to have a, a Christmas night It takes like a that. long time. I get, as soon as we get through, we start over again. Really? Mm -hmm. You've been planning all year? Mm hmm Never stops. Never stops. Mm -hmm. No, everybody always thinking about it. Okay, so if anyone who wants to go to Murfreesboro, um, how can they get a ticket, and what are the dates? They can call us at 252-398-5922, our website, <laughs> murfreesboronc.org. Um, it is um, uh, December, the 8th and the 9th, 4 to 8.30. And uh, you guys drove up an hour from Murfreesboro. Do you watch us in Murfreesboro, the Hampton Road Show? When we can, uh-huh. You can, we do. And you uh -huh. do. All right, Sandra Fallon, like we said, you can find out more about this wonderful night in Murfreesboro. Just go to our website, and we'll link their information there. Thanks for joining us, Sandra. And thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, Anderson Cooper is probably one of the hardest working men in show business, but he can still have a little fun even while he's working. So today, obviously, I'm paying homage to Phil Donahue, the man who really created daytime talk shows. Up next, our own David Culver goofs off with Anderson and talks about some serious stuff as well in his one-on-one -on -one interview with Anderson Cooper. All right, we've got a couple of hardworking chefs in the kitchen today. Kyle Kelly and Will Phillips from Norfolk Chop House are making a seared scallop dish. We're going to put the finishing touches on it when we come back. It seems like we've been talking about this interview for six months is pretty much because yeah. we have uh, David Culver recently got to meet Anderson Cooper, who's done it all from covering wars to hosting reality game shows. And at just 44 years old, he's not slowing down. David Culver recently got to visit him in New York City and sat down for the one-on-one -on -one interview with Anderson Cooper. And he joins us now with all the behind-the-scenes scoop because that's what we really want. That's I mean, what we're everybody excited wants about the know. interview, but we want, we want the behind-the-scenes. Well, I tell you, we sat through two shows, and it was absolutely incredible just how go, go, go he is. I yeah. mean, and he doesn't stop. That's mm -hmm. just half his work day. Then he goes and does CNN AC 360. So yeah. an incredibly hard worker, also a gracious host. I mean, he showed us around, gave us the grand tour, and still, you know, in the midst of his work day. So, you know, we talked with him. We sat down, talked about his mom, Gloria Vanderbilt, of course, his famous mother, mm -hmm. the U.S. military, and even you've heard of this woman, Oprah. I've heard of her. Yeah, she's pretty well known. She came up, too. <laughs> With the new talk show that just launched, Anderson Cooper will admit he's overworked, but do not expect to hear him complain. It's tiring some days. It's a lot of hours, but, you know, I've gone out with the Marines in Helmand Province in southern Afghanistan. That's, that's, that's real hard work, and that's tiring, uh, you know, what they're doing over there. Um, this is, you know, this is a blessing. I feel very privileged to, to be in the position where I can meet all these people and learn all these new things. So it's fun. Part of that fun, dressing up. So today, obviously, I'm paying homage to Phil Donahue, the man who really created daytime talk shows. For a period, Donahue was the king of daytime, until someone else stole the crown. Do you feel the pressure ever to kind of live up to what she, the standards that she set during, during the daytime? You know, I mean, I, I think I mean, Oprah is still around, and she's, she's not going anywhere, and she's still doing remarkable work. So, um, you know, I, I'm not trying to follow in any one person's footsteps. You know, I'm just trying to be myself and, and do the best show I can. I guess when I ask the Oprah question, what I'm really asking is, are you going to give away cars? <laughs> Am I going to give away cars? I don't think we have the budget to give away cars at this point, but, uh, you know, we give away stuff to people in the audience and, and uh, smaller things like gift certificates and stuff like that. So maybe someday some cars, we'll see. As you sit through a live taping, you realize what it takes to pull off the show. Anderson knows it requires a committed team. Off to the side of the stage, the show's executive producer is hidden by a monitor. She's meticulously watching every frame. During commercial breaks, they're making changes. And when the camera's rolling again, Anderson's on his own. Well, sort of. He can still hear the producer. Look closely in his ear, and you'll see how. Have a happy Halloween, everyone. All right, they've already finished the first show of the morning. That was the Halloween theme show. You can see they waste no time in between shows. You see the crew here, they're switching things as quickly as possible, moving up and down the curtain, making sure that it's ready for the next show. After an hour lunch break, Anderson's back on set, minus the wig and tie. 
His topic for this show, living a simpler life. One of his guests, a young YouTube sensation. It's lighthearted, fun, far from the more serious stories we're used to seeing this journalist report on. I asked him if he misses being in the field, chasing the story. I haven't missed out on any big stories, so I, I, uh, I, you know, it's really important to me to still continue to travel and still cover big, uh, big breaking stories, and I'll still continue to do that. Um, you know, we're, we'll have enough shows on tape that I'll be able to, to go somewhere if, if news breaks, and um, and so far, you know, we've been uh, we've been able to cover everything we want to. Of all the stories you've covered, have you ever gotten too close to a story? Um, you know, I was in Haiti a couple of years back and was in a riot, and there was a kid in trouble who had a, been hit with a, a cinder block and, and was was. Uh, in and out of consciousness, and I, I, I took him out of the crowd, and I got some flack for that, for you know, kind of crossing a line. But you know, for me, that was that's a no-brainer. I mean, if there's a child who's hurt, and no one else is helping this child. You know, a picture is not that important. Before our interview was up, Anderson agreed to a few one-word questions. Right, you kind of give me the first thing that comes to mind. All sure. Right? All right. Depardieu. Sure, de urine, uh, yeah, and giggling, two words. Urine. Urine and giggling, yes. He peed on a plane and it made me giggle and I lost total control. He hasn't commented on this incident. <laughs> Politics. Uh, partisanship, just uh, the divisions which are in this country and, and uh, you know, it becomes particularly noticeable during an election cycle. Your mom. My mom, just... Uh, an original, original, I would say. I mean, my mom's, you know, there's really no one like her. So you gonna have her on the show some more? Often? Yeah, I think so. She she likes it. It seems, and um, I think she likes the the free hair and makeup that, that we gave her. But um, you know, she uh, she's she's great to have around, and she's always interesting. Get out, the U.S. military. Pride. I look at what those men and women do, and I just find it amazing. I, I have such respect and admiration. I don't think I could do it. I mean, I don't think, you know, I'm 44 and I, I work out a lot, but I don't think I'm in enough, good enough shape. But um, I, I, I have huge admiration for, for, for our fighting men and women. All right, I'll let you go. I know you got to sure. go to AC360. And All right, hey, pleasure. Thanks. So Thanks. Really Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, and just to show you what kind of a guy he was, right when we finished that, I mean, he's being rushed from one thing yeah. to another. And we had about 10 minutes to sit down and talk with him. Right when we finished, he said, you know, don't worry about what they're telling you to do. Do you need to get any of the sort of setup shots, any cutaways? And in television, you know, when we're doing an interview like that, we need what we call B-roll to cover. And, of course, he knew it all. Because, I mean, he's been in the business. And yeah. he didn't let, you know, his busy schedule get to him. So really a great guy and showed us around, you know, the entire place. So a yeah. lot of fun up there. By the way, tonight on Raving News 10 at 5, he opens up a little bit more. He had his mom on the show, Gloria Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. And that was a very emotional interview, and, and we talked more about his, the loss in his family and right. that he's, you know, experienced, and he's going to open up a little bit more about that one emotional interview tonight. That's uh, on mm -hmm. Wavy News 10 at 5. So, mm -hmm. And also, we want to tell folks to go to the HamptonRoadShow.com. We've posted all these web extras, the full interview, and, of course, some behind-the-scenes photos that I think you'll get a kick out of. So, I want to hear more, but if I ignore the producer here... I'm in big trouble. Don't do that. Because yeah. I'm not Anderson Cooper. Like when got she these says things. you got to go, I can't say, oh, don't worry about that, David. Just keep talking. Don't, don't ignore anybody here. Maybe someday. All right, we'll look forward to that tonight at 5. Good job. Thanks. It was fun. All right. Last Thursday, we saw the second group eliminated from X Factor, the Stereo Hogs, and now there are a lot of broken-hearted fans. Joining us now from Los Angeles is the Stereo Hogs. We have Trace, John, Justin, KG, and Trey Bad Guys. Welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Hey, how's hey, it going? How's, how's it going? going? <laughs> hey, first, I just want to say congratulations to you guys for making it as far as you did. You guys have a terrific sound. Now, for people who may not have seen the show, explain first how you guys came up with the name Stereo Hogs, how you guys met each other, and what is your sound like? Well, I came up with the name Stereo Hogs because when, I, when we established this group, we definitely put all of our, our individual talents together, and we took it that we wanted to be on every station. I mean, we want to be on every channel, whether it be the pop stations, the rock stations, the rap, you know, the country. We, we can do it all as a group. So that's where the, the name Stereo Halls come from. We want to hog it. Hog it all. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what Yeah, and we're all friends. Oh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to tell you that we were all friends, you know. Uh, we've been knowing each other uh, for basically half of our lives. Uh, right. We all went to school at some point together so we're all you know just good friends basically yeah what was it like working with Paula I mean Paula was an exceptional mentor she worked with us a lot she was real hands-on 
she was the first one up in the morning. We were the last ones out at night. Uh, we put in a lot of hours together. We really got to know her personally. Uh, she got to know us. She believed in us so much, and she still does. Uh, we love her to death, man. Couldn't have asked for anything better out of the show. I think that was probably the most exciting thing out of the whole thing, was just working with her and just getting to know the music business from a, a firsthand experience with somebody who is such a mogul in it. I mean, she's yeah. amazing, and we love her to death. Definitely. Which I have to ask, you know, you guys were in Hollywood. What was it like getting that taste of Hollywood, getting on the red carpet, you know, rubbing elbows with big-time celebrities? Oh, it was definitely cool. Uh, as soon as we got on the red carpet, Adam Sandler came up to us, and he was like, you know, from last week we were on the bottom two. He said, guys, keep your head up, man. You guys are going to go far. And he knew us, and I was like, this dude knows me. You, I know you. You don't know me. I, you, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was really crazy. It was a, very exciting. Very exciting. It's just a little taste of what we want to live. So any picks for who's going to walk away with that $5 million recording contract? Do you guys have any favorites out there now? I mean, there's a lot of talent still left out in the competition. Uh, you got Melanie Amaro, Drew, Josh Kragic, you got Astro. I mean, they're all phenomenal. Uh, we wish them the best, man. They're working really hard. They got a lot of good mentors this year on the USA X Factor. So, I mean, we look forward to watching the show and seeing who's going to win, man. Well, I have a feeling that this is the last that we've seen, the Stereo Hogs. So what is next for your group? Where do you guys uh, want to go from here? Oh, we definitely uh, plan on coming to your city real soon, Norfolk. Mm -hmm. We'll be there real soon. Um, we're going to drop an album. And also, uh, if you want to keep in touch with us, you can follow us at, uh, the stereo, at the Stereo Hogs. And that's with one G and two, two Zs. Z's. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to keep our heads up and keep working hard. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, guys. Congratulations. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to the Hampton Road Show. And the top ten acts will face off on Wednesday's X Factor, live from Los Angeles on our sister station, Fox 43. Congra congratulations to the Stereo Hog. Thanks, guys. Thank All you. All right. Thank All right. You. All right, back to the kitchen here and the Norfolk Chop House. About to put the finishing touches on our scallop dish today. Kyle Kelly is back with sous chef Will Phillips, the goat cheese risotto and the seared scallops, and you've done something with the red pepper here, yeah. and it looks like you're preparing to make something else. Absolutely. Um, well, we went ahead and got our uh, cast iron. I like using cast iron for our sweet bar scallops or, or any, pretty much any kind of seafood because it gives a nice, good good browning on it, and, you know, it's an even heat, so it definitely browns pretty good. Okay. So we went ahead and um, got, you know, just regular uh, olive oil, canola, whatever you want to use, um, and started searing these off. It's going to take about, you know, three to four minutes per side, depending on how big your scallops are. Okay. Um, he said you definitely don't want to overcook those. So um, during the break, Will went ahead and um, strained out all of his thyme leaves and um, you know, bay leaves and lemon. Went that ahead big and lemon, his, yeah, that big lemon half. Went ahead and got there. his uh, risotto going. Okay. So he's just going to heat that up. We're going to finish that off um, with some heavy cream parmesan and goat cheese. You know, it, it, it's, it gives that velvet, velvet texture. Mm -hmm. um, and then while that's working with the goat cheese in it, he's going to go ahead and um, saute up some haricot verts. French green beans, pretty much. I was wondering um, about that when, as I was reading it, I was thinking, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but hair <laughs> Hair covers. Green um, beans. Okay. You see how they get a nice, Impress good, good. Impress your friends. Nice, good. Um, yeah, they get a good crust down yes, there. Yes, ma'am. All right, so he's sauteing that, and the dish pretty much is finished. We, got, uh, we went ahead and I added some heavy cream, garlic, pepper, pepper puree, um, salt and pepper. Obviously, you want to season everything. Yes. Key, 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 key season everything. Um, but I want to see how you played it up because the article in the pilot not only talked about how good the food was, but they uh -huh. talked about the atmosphere at the chop house and the presentation of all the uh, yeah, how you did. dress things up before you put it on he the did table. A lot of, we did a lot of work in that in that restaurant. I'll tell you what, the, the ambiance on there is I think mm -hmm. unrivaled. And, you know, in Norfolk, um, of course I didn't say that because I work there. But, well, I yeah. mean, when was the building built? I mean, it was an old um, industrial building. It was like a car dealership. 1916, I believe. 1916. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost 100 years old. So, obviously, um, you've got to bring it up to date, but, I mean, you got to try to save some of the character oh in yeah, the place, oh too. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Greg Anderson did a great job on, on how, we, how we wanted to set up the restaurant. And, you know, you tell that they definitely spent some time, and no, they didn't cut any corners. So right. It's definitely a beautiful, beautiful building. Okay. Um, all right, so we went ahead, and uh, the restaurant pure, puree is pretty hot. He's going to put that for a base for the uh, dish. Right. Um, okay. And if his risotto is nice and cooked and ready to rock, it's good and That hot. might surprise people because some folks might think the risotto would go at the bottom of the plate. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's just a compliment to the goat cheese. You know, roasted mm -hmm. red peppers and goat cheese and just make a great, great combination. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's going to go ahead and plate that. And we got our green beans good. And uh, you, you don't want to overcook your green beans, obviously, as well. You know, you just keep them out dente, Keep your vegetables crisp like they're supposed to be. Yep. Um, and I think our scallops are pretty good and ready to go. They got, like I said, a nice little crust on good sear. Um, Will's going to plate up on that. 
Are you guys open for lunch and dinner? Um, no, not, no, no. We're open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday right now. Um, I believe uh, in January we're going to start doing brunches on Sundays. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's something that I, I Do mean, you think that's part of the key to your success is kind of pacing yourself a little bit, starting with dinner, adding things kind of slowly a absolutely, versus just... Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we started pretty slow, you know, as far as the, the hours are concerned. You know, like I said, we started out just, um, you yeah. know, Wednesday through Sunday, then we gradually were going to open up on Tuesdays, and then, um, like I said, Sundays are prime rib night, so we started really slow on that, and I think it's probably one of the best deals you can get in Norfolk. It's like $18 for a 16-ounce yeah. cut, and you get... You know, a free salad, free bread, and a free side. So, it's uh, or complimentary, I should say. But it's 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 definitely one of the best deals in Norfolk. Yeah. Um, and yeah, d definitely pacing ourselves. We don't want to rush into anything. Right. Um, you know, we're gonna we plan on being here for a long time. So. Hey man. <laughs> slow and steady wins That's the race. Right. Just look up my half marathon time, and uh -huh. you will know that I am a believer in the slow, but steady. Right. Slow and well, steady. What was your God, time that on that? What'd you gorgeous. get? Uh, two oh seven. Wow. Slow and steady. Yeah, I don't think I could get it. You did all right. Sure you could. <laughs> um, be quiet there, Chris Reckon. So that's our dish. I mean, pretty much, we got the uh, you know pepper puree on the bottom, um, uh, goat cheese risotto, the, uh, the haricot verres on the side, and, and uh, seared scallops on top. That's pretty much it. We finished it with some microgreens, a little bit of lemon. Uh, you know, great winter dish. It. it definitely sticks to your ribs. So. All right. Well, we're going to take a pretty picture before we tear it apart, uh, but we are going to give it a try in just a little bit. And remember, the Norfolk Chop House is at 2314 Colonial Avenue. Recommend getting those reservations, Absolutely. especially for this season, 627-1190. Kyle Kelly, Will Phillips, thanks very much. We're going to come back and give it a, give it a try. That's it. Smells delish. Well, still Ooh. ahead on the Hampton Road Show. Our face of Fox, Tracy Page, tries his hand at an ancient form of art, turning a glowing glob of molten glass into a colorful and unique sculpture. See how he does at glass making. Next on this week's Tracy Tries It. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome right, back, everyone. Before we even get to anything, let me do the ceiling check. No spiders. None. Dropping down. Nothing. Thank God. Last time. That wasn't us. funny at all. Wasn't I didn't all. think it. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Chris. Come on. Anyways, well, it is Monday, <laughs> which means it's time for another segment of Tracy tries it. <laughs> What you do this time? Well, this time, you know, since I did so well at my last um, art segment of Tracy Tries It, I decided to, uh, you know, try a different art firm. Hey, Empton Roads, it's me, Tracy Page, and I'm here for another segment of Tracy Tries It. Now, I did so well at my last Tracy Tries It where I did some artwork, so I decided to do it again. This time, it's going to be a little more technical. I'm going to be doing glass making. So, let's go check it out. All right, everyone, I'm here today with Robin Rogers, and he's going to teach me exactly what I need to do to um, do some glass blowing today. Yeah? Yeah, just set it down. You're going to slide in, keep going. You see that reflection? Yes. Okay. Like Start turning. Yep. Turn, turn, turn a little faster. Good. Come down level. Keep turning. Slide back. Bring your hand forward. Pick up the pipe. Come on out. Straight back. Keep turning. That's good. Okay, now well, let's walk to the marble. To the and color. if you want, you can go, I'd go in the blue first just because it's a smaller granular. Okay. And then we'll work our way up. Set your pipe here okay. and slide just inside the doors. And you can look through here so you can see a little better. Right there. here? Cool. Yeah, just keep turning. And you'll watch the glass, you'll see it start to move a little bit. And that's how you know it's getting hotter. Now slide all the way out of the hole. Turn in, pick it up. Very good. And you can go in the red and white. All right. That's good. Okay. So let's right. melt that in. All right. So I'm just going to grab the tip here. Yep. Now pull outward just a little bit. Perfect. That's great. All right. Okay, now. Let yep. Let go I would just let go. All right. Perfect. Ready? Yes. Yep, sit down, tilt the back end way up. Perfect. Okay, now bring this hand forward, pick it up, ah, keep it turning. That's really hot. Come straight back. Good. Now where should I bring this? Go on over to the bench. Yep, there you go. So now, very gentle pressure. See how it's moving? Mm -hmm. 
We're almost there. Just keep doing that. That's it. Beautiful. All right, Hampton Rose, I successfully made my paperweight. I don't have it with me right now because it's cooling off in the back. Uh, it takes a few hours for it to cool down. I'm gonna pick it up and bring it to the show to show to you guys. Now, Robin said that I did a really good job. I think I did a really good job, but the moment of truth is gonna be right in front of you guys right after this video. So, until next time, Hampton Rose, I'm Tracy and I tried it. So, the finished product, ta-da! Yes, this beautiful glass horse you didn't here. You that. Come Isn't on, that beautiful? whatever. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> no. Really? Actually, the, um, <laughs> my instructor actually made this. He made it in like less than a minute. He just pulled it out of some, I don't, I don't even, I can't tell you what he did. But I made this equally, <laughs> equally good uh, paperweight. Isn't it lovely? That's Close really up on the good. paperweight. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Tracy. No more flowing papers in my office. <laughs> there are no papers in your office because you don't do any work. Why did I say that? I'm just kidding. You didn't have to let them know. <laughs> no, that was computer, cool. That was why. neat. That was neat. Yeah. Um, the, class, <laughs> the class can be offered to anybody. Uh, the Glass Studio, they hold uh, free demonstrations Wednesday through Sunday from noon to 1 p.m. They uh, also offer demos after dark. Get that up. Uh, that's Wednesday nights only at 6 p.m. For more information on how to register for a glass making class and workshops, you can visit Chrysler, uh, I think it's Chrysler.org. Mm -hmm. There you go. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Good job, Tracy. Thank you. <laughs> very exciting. And, uh, you know, very few studios like that around. So to have one in Norfolk is great. It's great. Ancient form. Nice job, Tracy. Yeah. People are going to be talking about that. People are talking about our hot topics this morning. We were asking folks about the weekend. Kim? We know her, right? Kim and Joe. Moms. They just did the New York City Marathon, and Joe jumped in and did the half marathon in Norfolk yesterday. And Kim and was watching. Then they came to shop from the heart. That's right. They were there last night with their kids, and uh, yep. they bought a ton of candles from Yankee Candle. So I know what I'm getting for Christmas. If you're still on the list, the yeah, nice list. The question you know? is, are you on a budget? They're yes, not. I know. Mike says he had to trim his budget, but he said not because of the holidays. Uh, Cheryl says. At 48 years old, she said her guy was diagnosed with colorectal cancer in May, so they have to trim the budget, uh, but they have faith that God is going to see them through. We certainly wish them the best with that. Yeah, That's the thing. That. Those things happen in life. You may plan, 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 and budget, right. budget, budget, and then some, you know, things happen. Got to be ready to react. All right. Amanda says we've trimmed our budget, but not to save money. She says she's maxing out our budget to get out of debt. Oh, wow. Give yourself there's a the gift there's of a being debt-free. Sure. Well, thanks right. for buzzing in. We appreciate it. A lot of good stuff going on out there, and uh, we'll have more in just a moment. Keep your comments coming. All right. Hey. Now, we have to join our pals over here in the chat. Have to. You want to. I, that's oh. what I meant. Didn't I say that? Didn't I say I can't wait to go sit with Jeremy in I here? I beat you. <laughs> no, but I, I, beat I, you the couch. I correct you all the time, so I apologize. Yes, you do. I know. It's just like a hobby. Oh, <laughs> oh sport. great. You know what we forgot to mention? You know, we talked about how Anderson Did Cooper we? has his mom on the show all the time. Yeah. David Culver's mom is in our audience she today. Is. She is. She's in the back row. We'll get yeah. a shot of her. You got to do the wave. She's, okay, she's David, beautiful. David, David. And Culver's she looks mom. just like David. She's trying to hide because she's the tiny person. <laughs> but we see you right in the middle there. We see it's camera right. zooming in. Yay. Yay. Camera off. So nice. So proud Aww. of David. As are we all. Mm -hmm. You know. That was a very awesome yep. interview. She's sitting yeah. back there saying, David, you said I wouldn't be on the show. She's like, Fairy <laughs> Fury, you're dead to me. They wouldn't put me on TV. Would that make her MC? Mother Culver. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, AC, BC. And interview's over. I know. Awkward. Um, anyway, yes, what are we supposed to be doing? Now that we've done that, what was I supposed I to do? Trivia? Give away a present? Okay. Yeah. Well, well first, we time. want to talk about what is up for grabs. Yep. Uh, you can take your group to Bush Gardens Christmas Town with a 10, 10 pack of tickets. Relax with a gift certificate for a half day spa package from ARE Health Center and Spa. Two round trip airline tickets to Orlando, Florida on Allegiant Air, now flying from Newport News Williamsburg International Airport. All right, gift certificates for downtown Norfolk businesses during the holidays in the city. Dine shop, reserve seats for Norfolk's Grand Illumination Parade, and also four tickets to see Cirque du Soleil's uh, latest show, Key Dom, at the Hampton Coliseum on opening night. And everybody who enters our pop quiz trivia all week long will automatically be entered to win the contest week grand prize front row tickets and meet and greet passes for Amy Grant and Vince Gill's 12 Days of Christmas concert December 8th at the Ted Constance Center. All right, time to... Uh, draw what today's winner is going to 
receiving. All right, Jeremy, you want to take it off? Or Rex, you want to No, 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 it's yours. All right, I'm going to go right now. And minute. remember, You're everyone who enters to win now is going to be, we're going to draw the grand prize winner on Friday, right here on the Hanson Road Show. Oh, <laughs> to the inside the box. All right. So today's winner. Today's winner gets the, so uh, the uh, A-R-E Health Center's Spa Package. Nice. Oh, that's so congratulations nice. to you, and we'll be in touch to let you know. Go to yeah. our website, you and you have to sign up all week long. If you don't, you're missing out. Well, here's the answer. Mm. For, yeah, first, to the pop quiz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. We're going to have ourselves. Let's ourself. take a look at it. So, all right, Blank Burnett Show, 2,000 pounds, two R's, two L's, and a small Virginia city, relatively speaking. Burnett Show. Carrollton. Uh, Carol yep. Carrollton. I'm with Ding. I'm with you. There you go. Carrollton. Carrollton, Virginia. Very good job. Yep. And uh, again, next time, if you missed it today, you got more chances. Go to thehampshireroadshow.com, submit your answer, and we'll have the answer uh, posted as well on that. Uh, but wait, we're not. Not done. It's time to announce the grand prize winner of Anderson contest, round trip airfare to two to New York City, and tickets to a, of a taping to Anderson. And the grand prize winner is Avery Burgess of Norfolk. Yay. Avery, congratulations! So we got a New York City. All right, we might as well just like keep the applause going for our chefs in the uh, kitchen. They did yep. a great Shout job. Time. Yeah. Try their dish in just a moment. Delicious. Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know what that means. You know what that means. No words. Kyle and Will from Norfolk Chop House. All the information about the restaurant and today's recipe will be online later on at thehamptonroadshow.com. Yeah, I also want to thank the Stereo Hogs for talking with us on X Factor. And a big thank you to our live audience from Murfreesboro, Canada. Like Yay! Christmas tour, December 8th and 9th. Check it out in historic Murfreesboro. All right, we're going to have a fun week. We've got four more fantastic uh, awesome prizes, prizes to yes. give away so uh, as the week goes on. Yeah. And congrats to Avery for the Anderson uh, taping contest prize. Oh, yeah. And don't forget David Culver's David special Culver. is tonight uh, on Wavy News 10. So don't forget. He showed us a lot today, but it wasn't <laughs> everything. So Go to HamptonRoadShow.com and sign up for these great giveaways. You've been warned. If you don't sign up, you can't win. You're missing out. All right. Until then, <laughs> it's a hard Tuesday. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow.